It is estimated that more than 300,000 seafarers and marine personnel are currently stranded at sea and unable to be repatriated despite the expiry of their contracts. A similar number of seafarers have been unable to join ships and relieve them. A humanitarian crisis is taking place at sea and urgent action is needed to protect seafarers' health and ensure the safety of shipping, the EMO Secretary General Mr. Kaitak Lim has warned. In a strong statement issued ahead of the General Assembly of the United Nations, he called on governments to take swift action to resolve the crew change crisis. Mr. Lim said seafarers cannot remain at sea indefinitely. If the crew change crisis is not resolved soon, ships will no longer be able to operate safely pursuant to the organization's regulations and guidelines, further exacerbating the economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. He reiterated his call to all member states to designate seafarers as key workers providing an essential service, and to implement the EMO-approved protocols to allow for safe and secure crew changes. The EMO Secretary General also insisted on the importance of removing other barriers to crew changes, such as visa and travel restrictions, and of providing seafarers with immediate access to medical care and medical facilities on shore, when needed. Shipping moves more than 80% of global trade and is a crucial component of the global economy. Resolving the crew change crisis will require a whole-of-government approach involving several ministries. It is estimated that more than 300,000 seafarers and marine personnel are currently stranded at sea and unable to be repatriated despite the expiry of their contracts. A similar number of seafarers have been unable to join ships and relieve them. This is due to restrictions imposed by several governments in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, including restrictions on travel, embarkation and disembarkation in ports, quarantine measures, reductions in available flights and limits on the issuing of visas and passports. Some seafarers have now been on board their ships for more than 17 months, exceeding the 11 months limit set out in the Maritime Labor Convention. Many have been denied proper access to medical care and shore leave, in breach of their rights under the MLC and other international instruments. This creates serious concerns, not only for seafarers' health and well-being, but also for the safety of shipping. Overly fatigued and mentally exhausted seafarers are being asked to continue operating vessels, increasing the risk of shipping casualties. 